Hi and welcome back to Time in the UK. I thought today that I would organise a Submariner homage shootout. I thought I would get together all my Submariner homages and um, do a side by side comparison and just see who I think wins, which brand is best, etc. etc. So, first off, let me introduce you to the contenders. Devis Submariner Homage with a green dial. The rotor's fallen off this one, but it still works. Steel Dive, Marine Diver, Parnish GMT. I know it's a GMT, but I don't have a Parnish Submariner, so I thought Parnish should be rep represented, so I popped him there. Pagani Design, Submariner Homage, the big boy. Pagani Design, latest issue, 40 millimeters. And a Tissel, Submariner Homage. Okay, so let's get into it. And first thing I'm going to do is bezel action noise and feel so let's move the camera a little bit closer so we can get right in there and first off is the Tavis not really a lot of bounce back not the best feeling bezel in the world it's got around Hundred and twenty clicks. Doesn't need a lot of effort to move. It's got a nice ceramic bezel insert. Next we've got the Pagani. Sixty clicks. Again. Not a, not a lot of effort to move. Nice ceramic insert. Bezel lines up nicely. Quite nice. Next, the Pagani Big Boy. This one's 120 click, I think. Yeah, 120 click on that one. Sixty click on that one, I think. Could be wrong there. I could be getting my maths wrong. Now we've got the Parnis. Turns quite nicely. Ceramic bezel insert. Not a lot, not a lot of effort. How many clicks we got there? 120. Next, we've got the steel diver ceramic bezel insert. Nasty. Allegedly 120 clicks, but what you'll find is the clicks are so close together, it, it seems to jump, it seems to do two clicks at once and then jump to the next two. So a lot of people think it's 60 click. If you do feel it really closely, you can feel that it is a 120 click bezel, but there's quite a bit of effort to move, not masses amount, but. It doesn't feel very nice. It doesn't have a nice bezel action at all. And this one's very light. It sounds a bit like running your fingertips over the edge of a comb. A lot of bounce in that one. Okay. But price wise, $15. Uh, $90 
fifty dollars, ninety dollars, ninety dollars, two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Let's what shall we talk about next? How about weights? So I've taken the time before off camera to weigh these little monkeys and I can tell you that this one here on the rubber strap the Tavis comes in at 96 grams the steel dive comes in at 97 grams the Pagani GMT on a steel bracelet comes in at 145 grams the large Pagani comes in at 154 grams the small Pagani comes in at 146 grams and the Tassel comes in at 148 grams so as you can imagine there's nothing to choose from them particularly the bezel size without the crown the, the width of the watch without the crown on the TVs is 42 millimeters on the steel dive quite surprisingly it looks a lot smaller doesn't it it's 41 on this one it's also 41 this one is 44 this one is 40 as well I made it 40.8 and this one is 40.3 so there you go that's the widths of the watch depth of the watch how high they are excluding the Cyclops I didn't feel it was fair to include the Cyclops when this watch doesn't have one so to get a better idea I measured it without the Cyclops so starting at the cell Tavis, sorry, the Tavis, it's 14.6, the steel dive is 13.5, the Parnis is 13.6, the big Pagani is 12.7, the 40mm Pagani is 12.4, and the Tassel is 12.5. So, these three, very similar depth wise, these are very slightly higher. Lug width, well, it's easy. They are all 20 millimeters, every one. Lug tip to lug tip, again, another easy one. They are all 47.5 millimeters. Lug tip to lug tip, lug tip to lug tip, except the large Pagani, which is 51, and the Tavise, which is 50. Clasps, well, these two not applicable, and everyone else has got a milled clasp, not a press clasp. Cyclops is now this is an interesting one because this is very, um, what's the word for it? It's something that can't be measured. It's an opinion. So it's my opinion. So I believe that this one is 2.5 times magnification. Sorry, this one is two times magnification. This one, I think, is 2.5. This one is 1.5. This one is 2. Not applicable. And poor, hardly any magnification. But if you actually feel the Cyclopses, you can't feel a massive amount of difference. So I'm wondering if it's the height of the Cyclops above the watch face that, that changes the focal point and obviously the, the shape the overall shape and the material of the Cyclops itself the taper of the watch strap so not applicable we've got all of these start so we've got so, so, this one starts at 20 it goes down to 16 and then 18 at the clasp this one is 20 goes down to 16 and it's 17.6 at the clasp this one is 19 goes down to 15.6 and is 18 at the clasp this one again starts at 20 it goes to 16 and is 18 at the clasp so all in all there's hardly anything to choose from them it's just all about quality production and perhaps what you're going to like to have on your wrist so who do I think is the best out of all of these 
I have to say, out of all of the watches present, I personally think that the best one is this one. I think that the markers and the loom, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do you a loom comparison today, but maybe I'll do that later. Might try and um, get a loom shot and then post it in at the end of the video. But I think that this one is my favorite one to wear because it, it's just so comfortable. Um, this one's a close second, obviously it's quite new and I've not really worn it that much. And surprisingly close second if I'm honest. I do like the fact that the magnification is better. I like that quite a lot. Uh, this one is probably a bit too big. It means What it means for me is that they've had to make the text bigger to fill the dial up. And I just feel that that's, you know, I just don't don't feel that at all. Um, the Parnis is a nice looking watch. I quite like the bezel, you know, the GMT. I like the red GMT hand. Bezel action is not brilliant. Nice on the Jubilee strap. I do like it. And the steel dive as well. I do like it. But value for money, I have to say that the 40mm Parnis is the one that you should all rush out and buy. And I will leave a link in the description to the video to an AliExpress shop where you can pick one up. And uh, yeah, support the channel as well because we get a small commission on the sales not very large but we do get a commission uh, and that all gets ploughed back into purchasing more watches um yeah so thank you for tuning in hope you enjoyed the video and please you give us a like give us a comment and if you're new here to the channel click the bell icon and give us a subs a me a subscription thank you very much Time in the UK, checking out.